Hey, welcome to DevNet Create Retooling for Self-Driven Data Center. My name is Dave Burns. A little bit about me is uh, I lead the data center engineering and operations team for Cox Communications. And uh, why I'm here is I've, I've, I've been around the block a little bit. I've worked on the Cisco side. I've uh, worked in building data centers from the plumbing uh, to the actual physical outside plant. Uh, so let's jump right into what I have to say today. So what is what does it mean by retooling uh, and what is a network development engineer? I get that question all the time. And, you know, you can Google this. And so yeah, most of us will go straight to it. And really, a network development engineer is a person that's responsible for building and scaling data networks. And we all know that. We've all seen that. But, you know, a, a traditional network engineer has always been just building ne uh, networks and managing networks. So what's the difference? Well, it's it's pretty simple. You know, when we get into development, we're thinking more of a software mindset. Uh, we're creating, we're deploying, we're automating networks, right? And, and 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 that's that's where we are today. It's it's an evolution. So, are we retooling? Or are we just doing things differently? Uh, people get nervous when you when you talk about this because they're like, oh, you know, I, I've always been working on hardware and you know in, in BGP, uh, RIP you know, uh, EVPNs, I mean, you name it, I'm starting to show my age when I start to talk about RIP. So, uh, but anyway, it's really a, a, an evolution of networks and, and we're evolving with it. And, and then th that leads to what is, where are we going? Software defined network, the buzzword, we know. It's a buzzkill sometimes when people talk about it, but it is our reality. And, and what do we mean by self-driven networks? It, it really is about this banner I have at the bottom. It talks about the process of, you know, when we, when, we, when we do any type of work when it comes to a network, we're looking at requirements. We're, we're looking at the intake risk assessment, the uh, adjudication, the design, the staging, the fulfillment and validation. Those components and which ones can we, can we actually automate? And then the evolving skill sets. That, that are required to do these things. You know, there's usually groups that are focused on design, focused on fulfillment. You know, how do we retool so we're all into this DevOps model? You know, it used to be you were in either in operations or in engineering, and engineering was really focused on building for the future. Operations focused on putting out fires and, and dealing with the day-to-day. -day. Now, as we pull those two together, you have that continuous loop. And it's, it's really all about simplifying, uh, you know, the complexity. That's why I have here simplifying the operational complexity. Well, we all, who, those of us who have managed networks know it's not, it's not easy. Uh, those of us who have developed code know it's not easy. So when you merge those two together, it requires that we have a little bit of knowledge of both hardware and software and the, the process that it goes through. So the challenge that we, we are often is, 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 is enabling our networks to really be intelligent. And that where that leads to what we know is an underlay and overlay network. And those of us who are network deep, we call it the plumbing. Those of us who are developers, we call it the overlay. You know, that's the fancy term of saying, hey, this is what how my application is presented. This is how it performs. And then that that gets to how how do I get to this culture? of retooling and to, to prepare for, to become a network development engineer. I have a lot of big, these are all meaty topics, but I'm gonna just be quick and, and try to just glean the, the top of them. There's the culture of learning. You know, we always are learning in networking and in software development. It's, it's continuous. And if you don't have a passion for it, you're gonna struggle. Uh, I always tell people, do you, have, do you love what you do? If you do, you'll have the energy, you'll grow. The other is, you know, what, what is the visibility in network health? So to, in order to program something, you need to visualize it. You need to understand what you're programming. And then there's the, the standardization of network and security policy. You know, to go program a network, I need to know what guardrails that I have to operate within. Uh, and then I'm going to jump over to adopt an agile DevOps culture. Those are buzzwords, all of them. Really, it is about agility. You know, do we do I run in sprints? Do, do I adopt this mindset of doing things in in very small, you know, buck a uh, small uh, pit, uh, steps? You know, we call them baby steps. You know, do it in two week increments versus you know long six month projects. Do it in two week increments, and we 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 get more. 
we can continuously learn. We can do what we call retrospectives and then move on. Uh, identify and monitor re report on KPIs. Key, uh, you know, the KPIs, uh, as you know, are, are going to be, you know, key indicators. You know, what, what, are, what, how am I doing? How is my network doing? How, how do I identify, you know, things that are important to my network, whether it be mean time to restoration, mean time to innocence. Those are people who always want to blame the network. Uh, time to resolution. Uh, time to innocence, you know, what, you know, that when we have an outage, everything points to, oh, it's a network, oh, it's a server, oh, no, it's the virtual environment. So how do we really show what numbers uh, in data help us find what is the problem? And, and then I always go back to focused automation. You hear everybody in the industry talk about, uh, uh, you know, this data, uh, this data driven mindset, but they want to automate everything. Is that the answer? Uh, I've always been a Focus on what you want to go automate and what you can go automate, and eventually you will have an end-to-end -end automation strategy. If you try to automate everything all at once without having these underlying things, uh, you're going to fumble. You're going to have make errors, and then you're going to have add additional cost to the business. So those of us who are more techy, techy don't 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 get what we need out of the automation. And then the last component is simplify, simplify, simplify. You know, uh, I always had, had a leader when I was in the military used to say, keep it simple, stupid. Uh, and there's other ways to say that, too. But KISS, in, and that's the truth. If I can design something that's simple enough to where the most basic uh, operations person, tier one, tier two, tier three, can, can understand what I was trying to achieve, it's going to be that much easier for them to manage. And it also makes it easier to automate. So what, is that, what does that all mean? Well, let's 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 pull it all in. It's innovation. You know, where does innovation start? It doesn't start with a, a, a grand vision of, of this glorious leader of a great company. It can, but it really starts with us, us as engineers, us as developers. You know, the I in innovation is I, meaning go learn something new. No, I've learned that network engineers who go learn, go learn scripting. They're the ones building the playbooks to know what they're trying to achieve. And next thing you know, they are auditing network uh, changes and, and on the fly and things that we can do outside of maintenance windows. The next is building a culture of learning. That's the fun part that we all love to learn. It's, it's contagious. Let's make sure we continue to feed that and support that. You want to learn something new? On my team, we have a culture of learning. We manage networks. We manage security. But if you want to go learn about cloud, go learn about cloud. We're also managing some pieces of the cloud, but we don't own it all. Then the challenge, the, the big takeaway for me is how can we do better? How can we move faster? How can we improve quality? Why not? Or why? Challenge the business as usual. Those are the best engineers. Those are the best developers. You know, there's, there's a way to go about doing it, but do those things. And last but not least, research on these topics. You know, don't just Google one thing. Go out there and look at all the diff different uh, aspects. You know, in the DevNet program, we, we, we've been taught there's all sorts of open standards to go research. Go learn those. Those are great uh, aspects that will bring you in and help you get to the place where you're truly a network development engineer. Uh, anyway, I'm passionate about this. You can always follow me on Twitter. You can always reach out to me on LinkedIn. And uh, as always, I appreciate your time and enjoy the rest of uh, Cisco DevNet and, and, and go have fun.